I'm Dooley. I came to Taiwan in my 20s and I've lived here for more than 10 years. I've grown from a little boy to a middle-aged man. Although I have always thought that when I get old, I must return to the United States to become a farmer after I retire. But Taiwan gave me a sense of belonging that makes me don't want to leave. It's not so much that I chose Taiwan, it's more that Taiwan chose me. If you follow me, you will know what Taiwan is good for. Oh, we're Stooley. Patty! Taiwan! I'm so excited. I get to take you to so many beautiful places in, Ta in Taoyuan. Yes. Most people think about Taoyuan and they think about, oh, oh there's so many factories. Yeah. It's so, it's so far. But no, actually, it's so convenient getting here, right? Yes, I told you. The MRT, Taoyuan MRT now is so convenient. You can, you can go straight to the airport. Right. And you'll go aboard, go back to United States. Why are you telling me to go back to America? No, 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 Why? no, no, no. Oh, I want to no, no, stay no. in Taiwan. Why come I can't stay in Taiwan? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you go back to America. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But Taiwan, Taoyuan is a great place and it really is convenient because now we have the high speed train. Yes. And then you have the MRT and okay. everything is so quick to get here. But when I think about Taoyuan, I just don't, it's, I don't think only about the MRT and the high speed train. You know what I think about? I think about the beautiful lakes. Oh. The wonderful food. Yeah. The fact that this is just the entry point to Taiwan. This is where it all starts at. This is the first place you land when you come to Taiwan. Okay. All right, oh. so I want to take you to some places. We're going to eat good. Eat We're going to see some good pictures. We're going to see some good scenery. Uh, most importantly, you get to hang out with a handsome man. Handsome man. <laughs> you ready so, to go? No. Okay. Yes, let's go. The first entry and exit of tourists will definitely pass through Taoyuan Airport. Now with the advantage of transportation such as the airport MRT and Taoyuan High Speed Rail, it is even more convenient for tourists to arrive at their attractions. Let's explore Taoyuan's delicious food and fun together today. Oh my God, it's so nice Ooh. to be here at the Sumen Reservoir. Yes, it's it like, just like a big lake here. It is, right here. it is kind of like a big lake, but the yeah. best part about it is, it's not hot today. Yes, oh. not hot today. I just love this weather and you get to see the beautiful mountains, mm. the crystal clean water here in Taoyuan. It's just simply amazing. And I tell you what, there's so many things that you can do here at the Simon Reservoir. Oh wow, what kind of thing? I mean, people come here and do exercise. You can walk around, you can go hiking. Like jogging? Yeah, jogging, riding bicycles. Yes. There's also lots of water activities like SUP. Mm -hmm. And you can get on the boats, they have a boat tour. There's so many things you can do here, but Today, I have organized something very, very special for you. Special? Patty, come on. We've known each other for so long. You know I have some great friends here. The ways of touring in Shimon Reservoir are really becoming more and more diverse. Not only are the activities on the lake are various, but also the activities on land are diverse. Every time you come, you can try different things to enjoy the scenery. The coach will be there soon. You know, little birds. Bird. Yeah. <laughs> So many of them, it's nice. Hey, Miss Lee, you're here. We've been oh, waiting for you so long. Oh, it's your friend. Yeah, friends. this is my friend, Miss Lee. Hello. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, come, come, here, on, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on. This is my friend, Patty. Hi, Patty. You can, Hi, you can stand right here. Come on in here. Hi. So, so today, Patty, you can see what we got. Do you know what this is called? It's longboard. Longboard? You know, I don't Day even board. really know. I don't even really know the real name of it because I just call it land surfing. Okay. But I think it has a special name. What's the special name about it? Uh, three different names. names. Three okay. different names. Uh, subskate. 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 Uh, land paddle. Land paddle. Yeah. Land paddle. And, uh, Land stop. Land stop. Oh, you know what? Land stop. Oh, like, oh, oh, like oh, on the water. Up. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Land stop. But okay, so this is almost like a skateboard, but it's a lot longer. Yes. Right? And it's a little bit wider, right? Mm. But and it's you, lots of fun. And you bring a stick. Yeah. You bring the seat. Oh, this is a paddle? This is a paddle, like a paddle. bull paddle. Oh, yeah. like a bull paddle. So we're going to use this to have some fun on these little land stop boards. I've, n I've never seen this before. Mm. Oh. I'll tell you what, when you come to Simmons Reservoir, there are yeah. so many different things that you can do. <laughs> All right. And this is just one of them, Patty. We're going to okay. have so much fun. Okay. Hey, oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? You uh, you can call me Ame. 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 Last time Ame. I didn't see Ame, Ame but this is but it's all right. <laughs> okay. All right. All Ame right. and then Miss Lee. Miss Lee, yeah, okay. Miss Lee. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Yes. All right, let's get started. This is a very popular leisure activity in Hawaii. 
It was originally intended for players who like to surf. When the waves are bad, they can practice surfing on land. Slowly, more and more people started to take interest in Land SUP. Today, Patty and I are trying it out for the very first time. At first, it was a little tricky, but the more I practiced, the better I got. After getting along with Patty a few times, I found that she is really good at sports. It seems that I need to practice more. Post by the logo here. Okay. Are you going, yes. you're going to go left-handed or are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm, I'm regular. Oh, <laughs> you're uh, I'm regular. You're goofy. You're goofy. What, what does that mean, goofy? <laughs> I'm not goofy. So if I'm right, I'm not goofy. What are you guys talking about? Go so. Goofy and, and, and regular is like just like, like skateboard. If you, you stand, no, this this way is it's regular. It's regular. And you, you if you stand like this way, you're goofy. This is a, about surfing. Like oh, surfing oh, this is special or, surfing or, words. Yeah. Or snowboard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back up, time to back up. All right, Patty, you ready? This is not a race. We're going for consistency and skill. See, she said we're very stable. Yeah, stable. Oh. Even though we're kind of, we're, even though we're kind of new, new uh, users of this, I've, I've done it before. Yeah. But you, you're really good too, Patty. I really thank think so. You. Thank you. All right, thank you. So, so since we're so, tied, Patty, I guess we both have to. So you guys Thank you, thank you, Miss Lee. Thank you so much. Shimon Reservoir used to be the largest reservoir in the Far East, and now it is one of the most important reservoirs in northern Taiwan. If travelers are lucky, they may have a chance to see the flood discharge from the dam. Although the weather is a bit cloudy today for me, it is more comfortable to play water activities and the beautiful scenery makes me happier. Next, I will take you to a very important landmark in Taoyuan Dashi Tea Factory. Yeah, actually, this place was uh, back when uh, Japan ruled Taiwan. Oh. They had a what a tea factory here that they would yes. help process the tea, right? Mm -hmm. But then, time passed. So what are they gonna do with the building? Of course, they're gonna make it into a place where you can come have tea. Yeah. Come drink tea. You can have some tea foods that go well with tea. So last mm -hmm. time I came here was just wonderful. Also, you can see some of the old tools that they used to use mm -hmm. when they would make tea. Yes. And ah. this. this this place is so peaceful, and I like this building. It looks like a Japanese building. Yeah, I just said it was from when Japanese ruled Taiwan. Yes, yeah, so it's black. It's no, no, no. Black. It's, it's black. <laughs> it's white. It's gray. Gray. White and gray, white right? White and gray. It's so elegant. It is very elegant, and yes. it's very peaceful, and it's very wonderful, and they have lots of things that we can experience in there, so I'm excited thought, to bring you. And I thought that that drama is Film here, right? You mean Gold Leaf? Yeah. Yes, of course. That was filmed here, just behind this building. I think you will love it. You, I, I can't wait to show you. You're gonna, you're gonna really enjoy it. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. The old Dashi Tea Factory was built in 1926 and covers an area of 1,670 ping. Formerly known as the Zhao Banshi Factory, hidden in a quiet alley, it is a green building that integrates Taiwanese and Japanese and British styles. 
When tea exports to Europe and the United States reached their peak, tea was regarded as black gold. Walking in the tea factory clearly fills the atmosphere of the history. There is also a lot of information about tea in the factory to read, but the experience is the best. We're looking for the uh, assistant manager. Where's she at? Oh, hey! Hello, hello. hello. Are, you the, are you the assistant manager? No. Yeah, hello, hello. Uh, my, my name is Dooley. My name is Patty. Hello. Hi. 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 把這個茶先鋪曬開來,然後做微調。好香哦。對,我今天採的是台茶十八號的香氣會比較明確一點。所以它現在是剛採完然後放上去再做什麼事嗎?消散水分。哦,消散水。對,要水分流失掉之後會
best honey you know what? Remember, 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 we were talking to the assistant manager and yeah. she was telling us that those tea leaves got bitten by a special bug? Yes. This is that tea. Uh, we're so lucky to be able to try this. And then, of course, you gotta have a little something sweet. Yes. A little something sweet, so we got a little cake. So, let's you wanna, start. Yeah, yeah, what do you wanna enjoy first? Uh, how about the tea? Okay, we'll start with the tea. Cheers. Cheers. You can sit in the beautiful tea factory and enjoy afternoon tea. The angle of the sun shining in is just right. Let's take it sip by sip. Doesn't it taste different? Oh, so different. So different. It is packed full of flavor. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't even eat the tea eggs like at a convenience store. I won't buy those. It's different. It's different thing. It's totally a whole different. Di whole different world. <laughs> this one has totally a totally different thing. It's, it's almost has a sweetness to it yes, also, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Mm, this one's good. Mm. And it's not mm, dry. Sometimes mm, when you get to the yolk. It's very juicy. Yeah. Mm, you get to the yolk. I like it. Oh, why is it so dry? Mm -hmm. You don't have that problem here. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That is delicious. And then you have a little bit, and then you have the tea, and then you're like, wow. I like this. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's like heaven, isn't mm. it? Next time you can come here and bring yourself a book. Okay. Or a magazine. Yes. And just sit outside with cool weather. I love, I love to do that. It's one of my favorite pastimes here. Mm. The generation is changing and the people's preferences are also changing. But Dashi Tea Factory has been working hard to connect closely with the land of Taiwan. The old tea factory operated three shifts a day and the machines were running nonstop day and night the rich needle black tea could reach as much as 600 tons per year. The tea produced by agriculture and forestry is accompanied by the old memory of Taiwanese and the track along the way. The nostalgic environment of the old tea factory, coupled with the warmth from the tea, let the story of the old tea factory continue to be passed on with a sense of taste. This is the most important thing. Next one is also the old story of Dashi. Patty, I'll take you to do something fun. This Where's place this? is so cool. I love this place. I don't know if you know this or not, but I have a farm, right? Yes. And I love to work with wood. So this is one of my favorite places to come. I love woods too. You love? You know, yeah, I, I like the, the flavor of woods. The, you eat wood? No, 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 the, the, the smell, smell. Smell, <laughs> smell of wood. We eat a lot of those things, right? We ate a lot of things, but we're not eating any wood today. Yes, I brought the you smell. here because this place is really special. You can see all the different things that they make here. Like, for example, for example, like this one's really cool. This one has a, this one has a little story oh. behind it. All right, this one has eight different types of wood. Eight, you, eight different You types. can see it's in the shape of an octagon, right? Oh. What do you think this is? Uh, for the coin. Yeah, exactly. It's like a little piggy bank. Oh. And they piggy made bank. this for some students mm -hmm. uh, they, who weren't, didn't have enough money to mm -hmm. go to their graduation trip. Yeah. And so they put this in the classroom, and when the kids had a little extra money, they put it in there. Oh. And then at the end of the year, they took the money and they donated it to the kids who couldn't afford to go on the student cool. trip. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This studio was formerly a traditional wood factory. The main production item is the God's Table. Due to the transfer of traditional industries, the demand for the God's Table has gradually decreased. So the owner did what he needed to do, and he transformed his business model and started to make creative wood crafts. As soon as you enter into the building, you start to smell all the wood. Mm, smells so wonderful in here. Do our stuff by That's why I brought you here. <laughs> we get to experience some hand crafting like carpentry. Are you okay, excited? Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna take so, you inside. So, so now we are carpenters. No, I'm a carpenter. If you want to be a carpenter, you have to sing a carpenter song. Uh, I'm the top of the world looking down creation and the only inspiration I can find. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. I, I remember this a long time ago because I watch a lot of TV shows about carpentry. So a long time ago they used this method uh, to get things together because they didn't have any metal. Yeah, it was very yes, expensive to make yes. metal. They would have to make each one of those metal nails and screws mm -hmm. individually. It takes so much time. But they have little methods like drilling holes and putting them in through the holes. Mm -hmm. Or they use this method to stick them together like this and mm -hmm. the buildings would never come apart. Yes. In America we still have lots of buildings that are made like this. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. The master taught us step by step from the beginning of measuring the distance and sawing the wood. It seems like a small piece of work, but it actually takes a lot of time to pay attention to the details. Today, the master taught us how to make a tofu press. So, of course, we couldn't leave without actually making tofu. Making tofu starts with soy milk, and then you slowly boil it and heat it until it forms. In the end, a little chemical experience was required to make tofu. To be honest, this is the first time I see it, and all I can do is dream about how it's going to taste. Can we reveal the results of our experiment? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, time's up, time's up. Let's see what we got. You think we, do you think we did it? You open okay, ma? I open it. No okay. problem. No problem. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> so amazing, so cool. Wow, you can see all. Can it become? Wait, wait, wait. Can it become? Wow. It became like this. Yes. Oh, all the solids have started separating from the liquid. Yes. That is nice. Yes. It's very like cream sauce. Oh, salty, salty soy milk. Salty soy milk. It's like cream sauce. Feel like. Oh. oh, you can use vinegar to also do that. Oh, that's kind of similar to milk, how you make cheese. Yes. Very similar. Oh, it's like cheese. Okay, then what are we doing now? Now, let's put it in our Okay. Pour all the soy milk pudding into the gauze bag, which connects a fixed filter basin below. Filter the soy milk pudding until it no longer drips. Then cover the soy milk pudding with the gauze bag. Press a heavy object on top and apply a little pressure with your hands so that the remaining water can be squeezed out. And the water is pressed out by repeated action. The biggest advantage of doing it yourself is that you can control the ingredients and eat healthy. Hey. At first I thought it was gonna to be too salty, but you get, it's just, just a little bit of salt, but it's not at all. Oh, that's good. And it's still warm. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fresh, totally fresh. Totally fresh. Totally fresh. Ooh. It's like, almost like cutting a cake, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Happy birthday yes. to you. <laughs> Just that simple, just easy way to make tofu at home. What are you doing, Ma? It's my turn. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. First, take the mold off. Soy sauce or chili or I'm gonna put a little soy sauce and chili on mine. You can do yours how you want. 
It's not that I like to praise myself. The DIY tofu is really the most delicious tofu I've ever had. It has a strong bean flavor, and every bite is super satisfying. Even Patty said she wants to make it at home every day, which is better than buying the final product. This cute handcraft workshop allows everyone to come and experience the cultural tradition of Dashi Taoyuan. But Patty, don't rush to do it at home. I will take you to Dashi Old Street. The beautiful Dashi Old Street is completely preserved traditional buildings. Walk on the street and feel the atmosphere. You will find something new. Here is a big hint. They also have special tofu here. Especially one of my favorite things to buy here, there's a tofu stand. Tofu. Oh my tofu God. Product. This place is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, there's so many things, but there's so many great foods here. I'm so excited to bring you here. We'll walk around you. You'll just okay. love this place. Ready? Okay. Let's Go. keep going. The main scope of the Dashi Old Street covers three historical street houses, Huping Road, Zhongshan Road, and Zhongyang Road. It is a commercial street formed by many shops. Although the facade of the archway in Dashi Old Street is Baroque, its shape adopts a lot of arcs and the center of the archway is the highest. The protruding point, the gable, has the shape of a mountain peak, a semicircle, or a circle, etc. In the end, the top has various styles of animals, plants, geometric features, which are very special. Next, I will take you to an old dried tofu shop. You will love it. Ah, oh, yo, I've been walking around Dashi so long, I'm so hungry. It smells good. <laughs> I yeah, so many different types of tofu products. It's, yeah. it's so delicious. Do you like braised tofu? Yes, I like it very much. You know, English is called braised tofu. Braised tofu. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> braised tofu. Yeah. Uh, this is the braised tofu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I... braised tofu. <laughs> Braised tofu, anyway. Braised tofu, okay. So many different times, yeah. yeah. Okay. What, what's your favorite? You, you, you like which one? Oh, the first one. 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 The English. one. The first 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 one. Dry tofu. Yes, yeah, dry tofu. Bing dong, bing dong. Mm. This, is, this is a tofu roll. Tofu roll. Yeah. Su, su ji. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, oh, this is tofu skin. Tofu skin, dou pi. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, hua gan. Hua gan is, hua gan, uh, uh, hua gan. Hua gan is Chinese, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, hua gan is the English name too. Because there is no English name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because in America, we don't have so many tofu products like in Taiwan. Yes. But here is the specialty, especially in Dashi. They have all these different kinds of braised tofu. You see so many. This is a bai ye. Bai ye. Bai ye. Bai ye. Bai ye. Bai ye. Yeah, bai ye. Why, why, why you know the tofu? You, you are the tofu master, right? I, tofu? I'm the tofu king. A tofu king? Yeah. <laughs> but in America, I didn't really eat a lot of tofu. But once I came to Taiwan, I saw there was such a variety yes. of different types of tofus. And everybody knows tofu is kind of healthy for you also. Yes, tofu is high protein. Yeah, and there's lots of people who tzu su. Tzu su, vegetarians. Yeah, there are so many people who are vegetarians. So if you need some protein, this is a great option for you. Okay. So should we order some? Yes. The freshly braised dried tofu on Dashi Old Street started over 50 years ago, and it has been an undefeated famous store ever since. The dazzling selection of soybean products makes it difficult for me to choose every time I come. But every time I try something new, I won't be disappointed. Come and have a look. Yes. All these different type of tofu, and it's so many, so healthy for you, right? Yes, yes. Oh, which one do you want to try first? Mm. Uh, I think we should try the hua gan. Hua gan. Hua gan. If you guys know what hua gan English is, I would love to know. I think maybe I should write a dictionary of tofu names. Tofu names. Yeah, because there are so many types. But hua gan. Hua gan is hua gan. Yeah, okay. hua gan. Hua gan, hua gan. I love this one because it, it just like, there's so many little so holes inside. And juicy. And it just sucks up all the braising liquid. And it's just salty. And then you put it in this a little spicy. Oh. With the onion, you want to try some with the uh, with the the scallions, even in there. Mmm. And when you take a bite, 
the juice just runs all through oh, your mouth. Oh, it's so mm, juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Is it good? Together. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's like a little piece of heaven. I love that one. Chicken. I think it's the flavor. I really think the tofu here in Dashi is exceptionally delicious. Mm -hmm. Because you have to have great water if you oh, want yes. to have great vegetables. You have yeah. to have great water if you want to have great meat. Water is so critical to everything that we That's live true. and do. That's true. And the water here in Dashi is probably some of, some of the most amazing water in all the world. So they, so they made delicious tofu. Yeah, yeah. They make everything delicious here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to eat so many things today and see so many things. Looking at the endless lines of people, you will know how hard the boss works to make the food so that the guests can maintain their love for more than 50 years. After tasting the old dry tofu shop, we are ready to leave Dashi to see the beauty of the lotus flower. The two of us also have to see who is more beautiful. Patty, I'm so excited. I'm taking you to the Lotus. This is the Lotus Agricultural Leisure Area. Oh, really? You know what Lotus is? I'm oh. Look, there are these beautiful flowers. Look. Oh. Lotus, Lotus. 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 Kai. January. Boo, Kai. February. Kai. February. Boo, Kai. March, Kai. <laughs> March. Boo, Kai. April. April, Kai. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't expect that the secrets of teaching children can also be applied to Patty. Lotus has the characteristics out of coming out of the mud without staining. Under the stable growth environment, the beautiful flower posture displayed attracts many tourists to watch. Wow, I like here. It's so beautiful, right? There's so many different types of flowers. Do you know any flower names in English? Like uh, roses. Roses and lotus. Lotus. Uh, daisies. Daisy? Yeah, uh, what's another flower name? Oh, it's pumpkin. Are those pumpkins? Pumpkin? Why are they up here? It's so <laughs> I don't know. It's, so it's a fake. But anyways, there's so many different kind of flowers. Go look at the horse. Oh. But there's a place oh, just over here I want to take you because it's so beautiful. I think we should oh, really? definitely take a picture. I want to see it. Oh, come on, let's go. It's just over here. Ooh. This would be a perfect place for us Whoa! to take a, a story for our uh, for our social media pages. Yeah. You want to sit on the swing together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... Uh, together? No, uh, probably no. Why? Yeah, this, the swing get weight limited. You you like Gongji? No, no, no. You. No, no. You first. You first. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I can do it. Okay. Ready? 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 Hey. Boomerang! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you wait, hear wait, wait, no! Did you hear some? Stop, Patty! Stop playing! <laughs> no, no! It's dangerous! No, it's not! Stop playing, Patty! Oh, king quang, king quang! <laughs> you sit on it then, I bet it makes the same noise. No. I bet that same noise comes out. I've ridden this swing so many times, it never broke before. Geekwai? Geekwai? No! Geekwai? See? <laughs> it's doing it for you too. Geekwai? Geekwai? <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? I have to say, girls look better when they are on the romantic swings, and as soon as I sit on it, there's a weird sound, which makes me a little bit scared. But it doesn't matter. There are still many beautiful areas in the park waiting for us to explore. There are many installations of artwork in the park, and every spot is very nice for taking pictures. Walking around the park slowly, I feel really comfortable. Once you're done shopping, you can do today's ultimate challenge. Yeah, every time I come here, I kind of feel like I'm in the middle of a movie, kind of like a Disney movie. Yes. Like Alice in Wonderland or, or uh, some. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should totally take a picture on top of here. Let me introduce my friend. This is Wang Laoban. Wang Laoban, boss Wang. Hi. Can we stand on him? So we can stand on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can stand on top. One hundred pounds. One hundred pounds. Are you okay? Just good. Just good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Julie, try it first. Okay, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay. 
I've been here. I've done it before. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Okay. 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 Entertainment program, TV program. You have to jump, 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 and you vote. Oh no, these other ones you cannot jump. Okay. These ones you can't jump. This, this is the only one you can stand on. Okay. All right. Can you help me take a picture? Okay. Help me take a picture. Although the King Lotus has a weight limit, there are still too many tourists. The Smart Boss made a platform to make the tourists seem like they'll be sitting on the King Lotus. Today, I also feel like Mr. Thumb on it, and I feel cute when I take pictures. But the weight limit still made me a little scared. Seeing Patty standing on it so easily, I thought maybe eating a little lotus seed dish is a good idea to calm down. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember I taught you yesterday? Whoa. Of course, lotus flowers are not only good for their appearance, but lotus seed dishes are a must have in all kinds of desserts. So, what do you think about this place? Isn't it beautiful? Yes. It's a great place, so many pl wonderful places to take pictures and, and just en enjoy the nature of things out here. It's so wonderful. And, and besides that, there's some great food. Yes, lotus meal. Yeah, this is an entire lotus meal. Look at all this special stuff. We have a lot of stuff. This is like a cold plate of lotus seeds. Cold plate? Yeah, it's kind of cold. It's cold and it's crunchy, so it's like a cold and crunchy lotus seed salad almost. Oh. And, it's, and, and the lotus is marinated in passion fruit. Do you oh, like passion, passion fruit? fruit? Yeah, yeah. Lotus with passion fruit. Isn't that special? Ooh, it's cool. Yeah, it's like a little, it's a little sour and a little crispy, and it's also a little sweet. Okay. I think you'll like this, and then also some lotus coffee. Lotus coffee. Oh, and besides, it's, it's lotus powder. Yeah, lotus powder with. Yeah, it's great. Ooh. Isn't that special? Like you've never seen any of this stuff. Yeah, I think we should try. I, try I think it. you should try, try this it. one first because okay. this, this one's really special too. Which one do we want to try first? I'm gonna just take this one like this. You know, the lotus seed is good for health and beauty. Yeah. The owner's special lotus seed dish is not only very creative, but also has a local characteristics combined with the ingredients of the park. After tasting everything, my personal favorite has to be this cake. Oh, it's so soft and delicious. So after eating the perfect food and watching the beautiful scenery for a limited time, then we will return to the city and experience the culture of Taoyuan's working people. Taoyuan is the center of Hakka culture. Whether it is food culture or details of life, it is deeply integrated with the Hakka culture. There is an old Japanese house in the downtown area of Taoyuan that I like very much. Although it's a renovation of an old style Japanese house, the traditional skills and cultural and creative objects in it are very local culture. So where are we now? You don't know where we are, Patty? No. This is Taoyuan, this is oh, Taoyuan 77 Art Zone. Art Zone. How could you forget? Art Zone, okay. You've never been here? No, no. This place is so special. I love yes. the architecture. They have a coffee house. They have some, mm -hmm. lots of great things to do here. And really, it's a really relaxing place. Yes, this area is very particular. Yeah, yeah. And wow. it's, uh, it's, it's, it, what, what I like about it is just it's really calm and relaxing and the architecture is great. Mm -hmm. And also there are lots of interesting things to do here. What kind of interesting things? Ah, I'm going to take you inside in a second and I'm going to introduce you to something. They call it uh, the Hakka Chan uh, Hua. Hakka Chan Hua? Mm, just a kaja, just a kaja, uh, kaja ren zui chuan tong de yi ge yi su ha. Chan Hua. 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 In 77 Arts Town, not only can you buy these cute cultural and creative things, but more people come for the courses. To inherit the tradition, someone must pass it on. Not only the language, the food, but also the knowledge. Today, I made an appointment for a handmade course. Patty, feel the charm of Hakka with me. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Hello. Teacher Hello. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. 
friend, your friend, right? Yeah, this is my friend Claudia. This is this is my good friend Patty. Oh. My name is Patty. Patty. Yeah. Yeehaw. Today we've been going all around Taoyuan and seeing all the beautiful things and just enjoying the atmosphere. So I wanted to bring Patty here because she's really good at arts and crafts. Am I? Yes. Am I? <laughs> yes, of course you okay. are. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sure you are because she has lots of unique things here. If you look around the store, you'll see that everything here is handmade. Oh. So each individual arts and crafts project is complete. They're not exactly the same, right, Claudia? All the things are different, right? Yes. 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 So do uh, you know what these are called right here, Patty? These things right here? Uh-huh. You know what those are called? Uh, 捕梦网. That's dream. Dream, catch, yeah, dream, dream catcher? catchers. Yeah, those, dream those catchers. I love those. Those are my favorite things here. Oh. But today we're going to do a little something different, right? Uh, Miss Claire, we're going to do some tanhua. Okay. We were trying to think, what is tanhua in English? What, what is tanhua? Oh. Oh. What is tan, tan in English? Well, I'm seeing her hand. I'm guessing that might be to wrap something, like a wrap, wrap, wrap. wrap it around it. Oh. It looks right. Right. Oh, that's cool. Wrap. His meaning is just to wrap, wrap, So I know, I know this is a very traditional uh, Hakka uh, art, yeah, Hakka, Hakka culture, right? Yeah. And so, how long has this Tanhua uh, been in existence? I've seen those at weddings and I never knew what exactly it was. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So how many, how many, how many years of history is this? Like how many years has this Tan Hua been in history? Oh,很久了，因为可以追溯到他们其实老师那时候我跟他们学的老师有追溯到他是来自中国哦，他可能是浙江那一块哦哦哦，就是还蛮久远的一个历史。这太深了，it's too difficult。Yeah, <笑> 好，我们我老师还教我们这客家产花，我们今天要做什么？这个是什么？我们今天的话会做就是书签。Oh, we're gonna make a bookmark. Bookmark, yes. 好，这个这样这这个书签它这是会怎么使用？就是这个是勾在书的外面，是不是？它好，譬如说有一本书，哦，哎，你有随身携带书哎，老师有随身携带书哎。She's professional. Yes. 好，可以说像是这样子。Oh, so pretty. Oh. So pretty. Oh. That is, that is really cute. Okay, so we're going to make a Tanhua bookmark. Yes, Tanhua bookmark. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Claudia, let's get going. Flower wrapping is a special handcraft of traditional folks. The method is to first cut a piece of paper into a petal shape. Circle a circle of thin iron wire around the paper shape, and then divide the embroidered thread into four strands and wrap them separately. The silk threads must be laid out in a certain order, and the finished product will be shiny and good looking. This traditional technique seems simple, but it really actually requires great care. I need the teacher's help now. Claudia Lalsa, can you check mine? I think I got it. I think I got it. Of 
patience. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> have to work on your patience when you're doing arts and craft projects, especially with this uh, special nigga Haka Tanhua. Haka right? Tanhua, how cool! So, if this is done, it can be used as an earring, right? It can be used as a Oh, how cool! Eh? Next time we can come back, we can make earrings. You come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, 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 Thank you so much, Connie, Thank for you. introducing us into the Tanhua culture, uh, the Tanhua culture of the Hakka people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And thank you so much. This is a beautiful shop. We'll have to come back and visit you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. After experiencing a lot of challenges, Patty finally completed her first flower wrapping arts craft. It really is great to pass on the tradition, especially in such an atmosphere as 77 Art Town. This trip is full of memories that are all over the place. Patty, are you tired yet? We did so many things today. Yes. We started off at the at the at the high speed train, right? Yes. And then we went to a tea factory mm -hmm. and went to uh, to the Lotus place. That was great yeah, too. What was your, what was your favorite was... thing we did today? I like the tea factory. What you like at the tea factory? What was your favorite thing from there? Tea factory, cause I see the factory and the the the, the view is very beautiful and relaxing, right? Yeah, relaxing. And that that tea egg was great. Yeah. That was probably one of the best tea eggs I ever had. Yes. But I think my favorite thing today was when we went to the to the wood the the woodcraft store. Oh. You and mean that, that, that tofu? Oh, that tofu press tofu. was so cool. Yeah, so right? cool. And then we made that fresh tofu. I mean, I, I think I'm going to remember that for a lifetime. I wish I could just go back and make more and more tofu and take yeah. it home with me. So the, the Taoyuan is not just the, the industrial Right. And it's, it's not just an industrial area. I mean, yes. there are lots of beautiful places like Sunan Suik. We had mm -hmm. so much fun there mm -hmm. uh, riding on the... What, they, what is it called again? The, uh, uh, the, uh, the paddles as you... Paddles. Paddle <laughs> SUP. SUP. Uh, the land, 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 land surfing. surfing. We'll just land call it land surfing. surfing. Paddle land surfing, whatever. But it was still fun, right? We got some great exercise. We saw the mountains and the sea and the great weather. Yes, yeah, so come to Taoyuan. Yeah, so everybody, welcome to Taoyuan. Come and join us. So many beautiful things and so much fun to do here in Taiwan. So if yes. you guys ever get a chance, make sure you follow me to, to Taiwan. Taiwan. Yes, yeah, see you next yeah. time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. After this trip, Patty and I know a little bit more about Taoyuan and heard stories from everyone we met. The chapter dedicated to Taoyuan continues to be written, and every encounter will make you love this land a little more.